Kandahar is not safe for any tourists. It's the Taliban headquarters. Yeah, avoid visiting at any cost. So, welcome to Kandahar. Welcome to Kandahar. I'm here again with uh, Emma, wandering Emma. Yeah, the most famous female of uh, Afghanistan. <laughs> and right now, where are we, Emma? Oh, we're in the bazaar, an old, old, the old Kandahar bazaar somewhere. Yes. So she has been here before, so she knows the place. Not really. It's uh, massive. Bit. Yes. And what do they have here? Everything. Everything for sale. Waterproof watches. Ah, waterproof watches. I see, let's see, everything, hopefully we're going to have SIM cards. Yeah, Afghan Wireless, what are you looking for? Because the internet here is terribly slow and Afghan Wireless, the fastest provider, is very difficult to find. So as you can see here, lots of stores and people are already yeah, eyeing us, you know. We're causing too much attention here, so hopefully there are no terrorists around. So while we're waiting, already a little crowd gathered because of our superstar here, yeah, who is always uh, the attention of the scene. And we're waiting now for our wonderful driver, uh, Zachariah, who is trying to find us in this market. So we have a translator and can talk to the locals. Although I'm surprised that people here in general speak better English than in Kabul. He's going to buy a scarf and I ask how much it is and he said free. Free, they are too nice the people. Thank you so much. What is your name? Ahmad. 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 Yes. Thank you so much. Manana. Manana. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. You want it on your head though, right? So I'm happy with my new scarf. As you can see here, the finest clothing. Maybe I should get another outfit because I love them. They are so comfortable. There's Emma coming. There's a huge crowd following her. Yes, <laughs> look at your followers. She gets followers on the go. Crazy traffic here in uh, Kandahar city. Yes, just like in uh, Kabul. Ah, and you're selling shoes. Very nice. Are they original? Or original shoes? Original shoes. So, original clocks. How much are the clocks? 600, 6 pounds, that's too cheap, they're not original. This is the price, it's too good, original costs more money, yes. All right, as you can see here already, a whole huge group of people following us. Yes, here from Kandahar. It's impossible not to get noticed in Afghanistan. Here's Emma at the bread market. You are selling fresh chicken. So that's why you have to be careful eating on the street if you don't want to get food poisoning. So what is happening here? There's a lot of attention. I like your hat. The turban. Very nice. Yes. So this here is a bakery. And you can see making them fresh roti or bread. Again, the star of the scene. So we have found Zach, our guide, again, so he can help us. And here are lots of walnuts. Oh, walnut mix. How much? How much is the walnut mix? 700, uh, 700 550 for one kilo. So he weights the food. That's how he makes it. Very interesting. We just lost Emma again. But we didn't lose the kids. <laughs> so, yes. Mama, mama. No? What? So now we're inside the bazaar. And what is this? For wedding? Birthday? Present? For the wedding marriage. Ah, for marriage, for wedding. Ah, I see. And this is for the fiancé marriage. Ah, for the fiancé, I see. The guy is selling balloons here on the street. Head and shoulders, USA. Some other products they have.
Watch his Rolex. So here are some snacks. Very delicious. Tomatoes. Yes, he wants something. Face. Oh. Oh. Easy. What spices is it? Curry? Yeah. Oh, curry. Oh, no, I'm sorry, you can't give money. Lots of beggars. Emma is multitasking. So here's the food street. Senge. Senge. The fish? Oh, cream. I see. This market is crazy and it is impossible not to draw attention here to coming to Afghanistan. Although most people here in Kandahar are very, very friendly. I'm happy to be here. Kind people, honest people. Yeah, but still the kids, the kids are probably the most annoying part. I love kids in general, but the kids here are just very aggressive. So um, I haven't seen so aggressive kids in the world. But it's also, yeah, beautiful. Here they have beautiful things. Yes. What is this? Ah, these are bracelets. So that's why here, this is for the girls. Yeah. Fashion shopping. Yeah, I mean, they don't show much of themselves. But maybe at home, they uh, can do whatever they want for their husbands. Wow, kids are very curious. Burkas everywhere. In Kabul, you won't see so many burkas, but here in the south, it's much more common for the women to wear burkas. Here they have soap. Yes. Wow. All the kids are here, annoying Emma. Uh, you want to get food to wear? Which man? This man, he was weighing something else. Ah, I see, but the kid's blocking the way. What is he having there? <laughs> oh my god. It's a no, what? It's sugar. It looks like it's sugar. Okay. Very interesting. All the kids. Difficult to get around. This is a chaos. Chaos in Kandahar. So they have everything on this market. Yeah, I mean, not everything, but plenty of stuff. It's very interesting to see. On oh, the kids have balloons. Oi, oi, oi. And here's the bird section. And you see the crowd is always around Emma. She's the crowd magnet. So, what is it here? What is this? Jigara. Jigara. Is it beef, chicken? This is mutton, yeah? Yeah. And this is also mutton? Yeah. Tomato? Beef, meat. Ah. Okay, I see. Oh. oh yes, speak very good English. There's a mosque, traffic, donuts, Afghan donuts. How do you call it? No, it's here. Kachir, 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 kachir. Ah, kachir. It's drawing attention. Oh, and here you're selling. You're the business. This boy is selling all these garments. Wow. What, what is this? Shit? Dirt? The kids just throw something at me. Wow. They're aggressive. No, these kids are not nice. Oh, and he's selling these garments. Oh, you can see they have red hands. Very nice. Very, very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Our bodyguard is not doing well and keeping the kids away. Yes. You have to tell the kids to get lost. I'm not a bodyguard, man. Spraying time. Mosque. Uh, yes. Uh, Emma is really pissed because of the annoying kids. But I understand. They are so annoying. It's the same in Kabul. In Kandahar, right here in the market. But the rest of the city is usually fine. Oh, it's so hot here in Kandahar. I'm going to take my head off. Look at this. They're all following us. You know, in front, it's all empty. Put it back. We don't want to be negative, but these kids just don't leave us alone. They're even following us to the phone company office here. Yeah, I mean, some of them. They're very persistent. 
Okay, so we have been waiting for 20 minutes. We found a man who spoke excellent English. Thank goodness we found you. No problem, ma'am. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're here in a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, and this is animal brain, yeah? Yeah. Sheep. You know sheep? Sheep brain. I see. We like that. I tasted that in Kabul. You want to take it? It's very slimy. Yeah, very slimy brain. Lots of brain mucus. It doesn't matter any way you cook it. Yes. Here we go. Oh, you can have a bite for the taste. Yes, he has a bite shop. I'm a mechanic. Mechanic. Basco. You know Basco? Ah, bicycle mechanic. Yes, we're gonna come over. The you know. Uh, the knowledge, I'm a knowledge person. He would be a good guide. You, know, but you can pay, hire him. You want to be a guide? You pay your money. Uh, so, Sikanda speaks yeah. perfectly English. Yeah. Yes, so maybe he can be our guide. We have to see. So, he has the bicycle sock shop on the other street side. But he doesn't use uh, internet, right? WhatsApp makes yeah. it crazy. Yeah, it's making mind crushing, you know? Yeah. It's crushing mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are a knowledge person. We are a little bit of internet. I see. I couldn't waste my time with that. So, what do you do in your free time? Uh, just uh, only I work. Only walk? Only and working. Only walking? This is my home. And what do you do with that when you don't walk? And this is, I fix the Bosco. I'm selling a Bosco. Yes. Oh, but, but are you riding bicycles? No, only I just pass in a bicycle. Uh -huh. I sell in a bicycle. Well, first time we see Afghani coins, and Emma has been here already three times. Yeah, so accumulated like uh, two months, and she never has seen a coin. Seen a coin. So from now on, Sikanda is going to be our new guide. Okay. Yes. You know English? You. Do you yeah. know anybody who speaks English as good as you here? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Why people in Kandahar are so fluent in English? You know, just when American was here, yes, we are so happy. Ah, yes, we are so happy yes. to guide them, uh, to ah. translate them. Ah, yes, to help our people. What is the name of this place? Chilzene. 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 And what is it? Fourteen steps. Fourteen okay. steps. So over there is the beautiful elephant mountain. And here is this, what is his name? Chilzina. Chilzina. Chilzina Can you go between the sun? Chilzina and 40 steps. Uh -huh. It was built by uh, Babur. Babur, yes. The, the ruler of the Mughal Empire. Yes. Empire. yes. And it's such a simple thing. Yes. But it has a huge um, significant meaning. Yes. At the top, it's the inscriptions. There's two lions. Uh -huh. I think they were built to like. Um, protect, like, to keep out the enemy yes. in this area. So I just changed my camera because it's windy here and my wonderful Panasonic doesn't have any wind protection. So that's why I'm using the Sony right now. And I just heard from our wonderful guide, Sikanda, that he has 11 sisters yes. and five brothers. Yes. So your parents had, and you have to calculate, yeah, uh, 17 children. <laughs> wow, that is insane. From the same mother? Yeah, from her mother. Wow, amazing. And she is looking also yes. very not younger. Uh-huh. Yeah. She's what? She is looking very younger. She looks very young, huh? Yeah. How old is she now? Old 40. She's 40 years old? 40 years old. 42. She's 42 or 43, around 44. She's 42 years old and had mm. 17 children. Yep. That is absolutely insane. This is mind blowing. Yeah. So here's the entrance to this beautiful place. Over there to the left are the stairs. So we have a nice view here on Kandahar. Yeah. This elephant mountain. So I think there are the Taliban waiting for us. But it's very interesting here. You know? So we're having some photos with the Taliban. Yeah. Our oh, guide, wait. We have to go so fast. Yes. Yeah, I want to go. We have to go. Ah, no interview. Have to go to crack and the, the person is coming, you know. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, Manana. So the Taliban said this is the first time ever tourists come to this place. That's what you said, right? Yeah. What did you say? First tourist ever to this place. The Taliban are the most bureaucratic per people I have ever seen. The most bureaucratic government. Yeah, always with paperwork. It's insane.
But the problem is also they don't share the information between each other. So every time we come to a new point, we have to verify who we are again. So, but that makes the journey even more interesting. So here we are. Here's the entrance. To this famous cave with an amazing view of uh, Kandahar. So we're walking up the holy steps now in the sunshine. These steps are incredible steep. Luckily we have this handrail. Whoa. They're like a half a meter high each step. Getting out of breath. I'm out of breath. But I made it. This is the place. They are broken. So Sekanda, what is this place? This is place uh, calling we are calling chills in a 20 steps. 20 steps. 20 steps. Let's make from Barbarian. Barbarian. Yes. Barbarian. Barbarian, yes. Barbarian by it's made by Hamayun. Yes. He was, a, he was a, a, you know, a president of the time. Yes. Barbarian. All right. Can you explain us this picture, please? Yeah, I think this what? is an ancient place here in Kandahar. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, for tea stairs. Yeah. It calls for tea stairs, and this is only this is a place made by Mongols. Yes. At the uh, Mongol era. Yeah. Babur Shah. At that time, uh, so it is only for this stairs. It's a high place in mountain. And uh, most parts of Kandahar, you can see them from this place. Uh -huh. There are some writings, nothing more. Some uh, writings. It's famous, uh, ancient writings. Yes, yes, it's ancient. I see. And this is the Afghan Mr. Bean. No, yeah. this is English Mr. Bean. Ah, yes. And that's our history up there. You know, just look in there. Oh, yes. It's, it's, it's my Persian. Yeah, can you read this? Can you read it? Yeah. Shah Mazar. Shah Mazar. Yeah, it's an amazing view here on the top. <laughs> See the mountains. And Emma is calling the graffiti. Yes. He looked very nice. He used the, um, for the eyes. Yes. You know, it have an egg. Yes. You know, egg. Isaac. Isaac? Yeah. I like it. It's good. It's good. No, no, I like it. I like it. It's very fashion. Very steep steps here. So be careful not to fall down. So this is where you're going next. The picture of here. But we have to take a taxi. Yeah, come on. Oh, they're having a monkey. Hello, monkey. There's another monkey. There are two monkeys. Yes. Are there wild monkeys here? Huh? Do they have monkeys in Afghanistan? Yeah. Oh, because it's desert. I'm wondering why they have monkeys. No, like Afghanistan, them. Scotland? Yeah. No way. Hey. Afghanistan and Scotland are playing cricket. Yeah. Tell him I'm from Scotland. <laughs> wow. We're against each other today. <laughs> now we're in a taxi. Where are we going, Emma? We're going to the tomb. The tomb? Do you know the name of the tomb? No, I can't remember the name of the tomb. What is the name of the tomb? Tomb Kingdom of Miroisnika. Okay, and what is it famous for? Whose tomb is it? He was a historical person. Yes. He was a kingdom. Kingdom, I see. He was a good person. I see. It is a very famous tomb because this tomb is also on the 1000th Afghani bill, which is the highest bill of the country. So there's the mountain where it just came from. And it's very beautiful now as the sun already start, starts to set. So the lightning becomes very soft and smooth. And this is our wonderful driver. Do you speak English? No. Mm. Oh, and there we are, opposite the graveyard. Majestic. Very fascinating. That's Chinese taxi. China. Yes, and here's the place. So as you can see here, Afghanistan Bank. There's the real thing, here in Kandahar. So we're walking slower to it. We have no stabilizer, so it might be a bit shaky. Sekanda. 
Can you tell me what is written on this plate? Haji Mirwais Khan, it's the name of Mirwais Khan. Yes. Okay, we are calling Gary Father Mirwais Gary Father. Yes, and there are birds nesting on top, I think. Or at least chilling. Wow. This is fascinating. I see. This is the tomb. Interesting. They're beautiful. So taxi, going back. So now we're here in the rich neighborhood of uh, Kandahar. So you can see, uh, yeah, high fences. They are mostly yeah, the richest people here. So how much cost a house in this neighborhood? A uh, simple house, let's say 1,500 square meters in this neighborhood area, yeah. it's around $120,000 wow. in the previous government. $120,000, $130,000, wow. $150,000 maybe some houses. Yeah, I see. They're very, very valuable. Some of the houses which people have built for themselves, especially, yes. they spent a lot more than that. Yes. Every house might have 15 to 20 rooms here. Yeah, they look sure, yes, but you can't see because of the high walls. Yeah. I know Mino, right? I know Mina. I know Mina. We live over here. Modern. A what? They are more modern than modern. The city. Yes. Modern, educated, you know. This is the uh, Beverly Hills <laughs> of Kandahar. But right now is the best time to visit Afghanistan, no? Now it's, it's the best time, yes. Yes, because before when the Americans were here, was dangerous. It, it was, was dangerous. very dangerous. You could not go to the districts. You could not go out of the city. It was very right. dangerous. So that's it from uh, Kandahar. Yes. It was a beautiful oh. time we had. Hello, the kids are again. You want the juice? Right. Let him have the juice. He said you can't pronounce it properly. Oh. Oh. Zindabad. Okay. Afghanistan, Zindabad. Afghanistan, Zindabad. Afghanistan, Zindabad. So that's it. Yeah, Afghanistan, Zindabad. Thank you very much for your hospitality, Kandahar. Next stop, I guess it's Helmand, but we haven't decided. And you, thank you very much. Yes, I really appreciate it. Yes, Aziz and Sad Moment. Thank you very much.